Hey guys, I'm Asma Khalid from CyberPanel and in today's video we will be learning about how you can remove, defer or delay unused JavaScript files or JavaScript code. So what happens is sometimes there, uh, there are part of code that you are not using at all times and but uh, that part of the JavaScript code or the file is going to make your WordPress site load slowly. It's going to uh, decrease the speed of your WordPress site. So what you can do is you can always remove, defer or delay those uh, JavaScript codes. So in this video we will be learning about how you can do that so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video. Alright guys so the first thing is that we need to use GT metrics to find the largest JavaScript file uh, for our, in our WordPress site so let's just copy our uh, URL from here paste it in GT metrics and test our site. Okay, so we are done uh, with the analyzing part of the uh, GT metrics. So now GT metrics has displayed me some results. I click on waterfall from here and click on JavaScript. So it's going to show me, so right now it's a dummy site. So it's, of course it's going to show me a small number of files within, uh, within my WordPress site. But from here you will be able to see the largest uh, number, uh, the largest JavaScript file is going to show you in the descending order. And once you uh, get the results from here, you will be able to know which one, uh, which JavaScript file is the largest one. Now that we know which uh, file is the largest one, we can continue with the next step, which is to minify the JavaScript. Now we can do that using Lightspeed Cache. Lightspeed Cache is available to, on your WordPress site if you're using CyberPanel. It's there by default and Lightspeed Cache is a very versatile plugin. So click on Lightspeed Cache from the left hand side menu and click on page optimization. Now from page optimization, uh, just a second, it's going to load. Okay, so from here you need to click on JS settings and you need to turn on the JS minify toggle. So by uh, basically turning this on, it's going to minify all the JavaScript files and inline JavaScript code is going to eliminate all the spaces uh, in between the code, making the page more optimized and making it load even more faster. So once it is done, click on save changes and your JavaScript uh, files will be minified. Okay guys, so if you're using Elementor, there is a high chance that there is, there is a lot of JavaScript code which is basically unused maybe since uh, not all part of the file uh, of Elementor uh, features are being used at the same time. So a lot of the files are unused. So what we can do is go into Elementor from the left hand side menu and click on settings. Now from here, we can click on experiments, scroll down and make sure that your improved setting loading is turned to active. It is on default or inactive, you need to turn this active. So it's going to basically reduce the amount of code that is loaded on the page by default. So when activated, part of the infrastructure code will be loaded dynamically only when needed. So unless you don't need it, that part of the code will not be used at all. They will be basically, uh, deactivated until you need them to be activated okay so make sure that you're doing this before on a test or a staging site which you can very easily create uh, using cyber panel and uh, so that you would know that if you have a very versatile a very large site so by uh, activating this feature you are not messing up with the design of uh, your site so it's always better to make these changes first on the staging site then implement on your actual site so one, once it is done you can scroll down and click on save changes and this is done this is, what it's going to do it's going to remove the unused javascript in elementor next is we can defer or delay uh, non essential javascript now for that we need to have a plugin over here so go into plugins click on add new and we are going to search for async javascript and this is the one that we need uh, let's install it so it's basically going to delay any unused javascript so once it is installed we need to activate it Okay, so now this plugin is activated, installed and activated. Now we can move forward. Now we need to go into settings and you will be able to see the async JavaScript 
tab uh, appeared this will uh, this will only appear once you have uh, activated this plugin so let's click on that now from here we need to go into the settings scroll down and click on apply defer so it's going to basically delay any unused javascript in your code uh, in your code so if it will only be active again it will only be activated once you start uh, when, once you actually need it not before that so once you have done that scroll down and click on save changes and it is going to defer or delay non-essential or unused javascript code okay next is that you can also remove unused javascript with asset loading plugin now for that go into plugins click on add new and we need to search for basically asset cleanup from here click on install now once it is installed we need this one basically asset cleanup and page speed booster once it is installed activated and you will be able to see that asset cleanup tab has appeared in the left hand side menu now from here you need to go into settings and in settings you need to first of all turn on the test mode so that if there is any problem with your site uh, or any problem with your site after you make the changes it is always better to turn on the test mode first so that any changes that you do is being being done on the test mode not on the actual site so once this is done you need to update all settings so that your uh, test mode is just turned on okay so once this is done we need to click on optimize javascript okay so scroll down now make sure that your combined loaded JS into fewer files is turned on this toggle is turned on if this is not turned on you need to turn this on so what this is going to do is it's going to combine all of the javascript files together to create fewer files essentially decreasing the load time and once you've done that scroll down and just click on update all settings and you're good to go lastly what you can do is you can basically disable the unused plugin module so there are a lot of plugins in which there are modules of data so for that purpose i'm going to show you the rank math plugin so go into plugins click on add new from the left hand side menu and let's search for rank math so it's always better to use a plugin which is very well coded and if it is very well coded you will be able to see uh, a lot of modules within that plugin so let's just click on install now and activate it so once you see the modules in your plugin what you can do is you can enable some of the modules that you actually need and disable the modules that you don't need so you're basically using some part of the plugin not all of it essentially uh, decreasing the load time and and just disabling the unused uh, modules so let's click on uh, rank math from the left hand side menu and click on dashboard now from here you will be able to see your modules in the module tab now these are all the modules that you can use some of them you cannot use for example if i don't want to use the schema or the structure that i can just simply turn this off essentially disabling that part of the plugin so this, as you know that rank math is a very well coded um, plugin so we can see that there are so many features that you can use and some of them that you cannot use and by doing so you are uh, decreasing the load time for your uh, wordpress site so this is how you can basically disable remove or defer uh, unused javascript files from from your wordpress site if i hope this video was really informative for you guys if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cyber panel